Hello there, my fellow Star Wars fan. I'm your host, Dingo Bringo, and Anakin Skywalker is back in the Star Wars universe. So, before I get into that, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker theory and exploration videos. And if you enjoy, smash that like button down below and share this video out with friends and family and anywhere on social media. It would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so we got the first trailer for Star Wars The Rise of of Skywalker and the title for Star Wars Episode 9, which is Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, and that confirms Anakin Skywalker is back for multiple reasons. One, The Rise of Skywalker, that right there confirms it. Now you might be saying, well, what about Kylo Ren? What about Luke? Is it Rey? No to all three. One, Kylo Ren, technically bloodline-wise he's a Skywalker, but he's a Solo. And he's not even a Solo anymore. He's Kylo Ren. Let the past die. Kill it if you have to. Now Luke Skywalker, could it be him? No. Because he's dead. He's a Force Ghost. They wouldn't kill him off in Episode 8 just to revive him again in Episode 9. So no, it's not him either. Is it Rey? Heck no. She's not a Skywalker. She's nobody. She's nobody. Her parents are nobody. Could it be Leia? And I guess, again, with Kylo Ren, bloodline-wise, she's a Skywalker, but she's always been Organa, and now she's a Solo as well. She was never really a Skywalker in the first place, and I don't see her taking up the mantle, the name of Skywalker in this movie. That doesn't make sense. So, it can only be Anakin. And it makes so much sense for it to be Anakin. Anakin is THE Skywalker. Anakin is what the entire Star Wars saga is about the prequel trilogy, the fall of Anakin, redemption of Anakin, and now it seems like the sequel trilogy, the rise of Anakin. Think of it, episode 3, he turns bad. Episode 6, he gets redeemed. Those are the third movies in both trilogies. Episode 9, he returns. And in the trailer, we hear Palpatine. Palpatine is back. They got Ian McDermott back to play Palpatine. Palpatine is back. You don't bring back Palpatine without bringing back Anakin. Plus, seeing as Kylo Ren is Anakin's grandson, of course you bring him back. Remember to the line in The Force Awakens, show me the way, the call to the darkness. He was communicating with Anakin, it seems like. Now, in the trailer as well, we saw the Death Star in an ocean. There is concept art for the Force Awakens of the shattered pieces of the Death Star in an ocean. Meaning that the concept art, the concept of Anakin being half good, half bad Force Ghost is back in play. That can happen again. There was also rumors back a while ago that Palpatine would be resurrected in this movie. And that he would be played by Matt Smith. Now we know that Matt Smith is not going to be playing Palpatine, that is going to be Ian McDermott, but it seems like it's possible that Palpatine does get resurrected, and why not resurrect Anakin while you're at it? Anakin was created by the Force, so it seems like it would be easier for Anakin to be resurrected than Palpatine, so if Palpatine can come back, Anakin's most definitely coming back. This movie is the end of the Skywalker saga. Anakin Skywalker is THE Skywalker. And he's back. I was a bit skeptical. You know, I didn't think we would get, you know, any any mention of Anakin, any notion that Anakin would return in the trailer at Celebration. I wasn't even expecting Anakin to be in this movie, although I was very, very hopeful. And believe it or not, we got confirmation that he's back. The rise of Skywalker. It can only be Anakin. Also, side note, does anybody know where I can get very high quality costumes, like movie quality costumes? Because I want to get an Anakin Skywalker Episode 3 costume for uh, the movie to dress up. So, if you know any websites, any stores that sell very high quality costumes, leave it in the comments. So, Anakin Skywalker is back in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Now, is it going to be Hayden Christensen? Yeah, most likely. They got Ian McDermott to come back, and Hayden Christensen isn't really doing much. So, why not have him back? Why not bring him back? Anakin will most likely be played by Hayden Christensen in this movie, and that just makes me even more excited. Let me know in the comments, guys. Are you excited? And are you happy that Anakin is returning in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker? 
And how do you think Anakin is going to come back in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker? There's a bunch more videos I'm going to make about Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Uh, trailer breakdown. That's That was my first plan, but then, you know, Anakin got confirmed. He's my favorite character of all time, so I had to do this first. So I'll do a breakdown of that. I'll do a breakdown of Palpatine. I'll do theories. So many theories. So you don't want to miss any of those. Subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss that. Click right here for my most recent upload. And click right here for my Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker playlist. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you.